welcome back to part 3 of this password reset we're on our last page, this should take about 5 minutes hopefully and then a few extra minutes just to test um, so in this one we need to um, require the database file again so you can just go back into this one and copy that over there instead of typing it out um, now we need to get the password from what the user posted over from that form so new pass um, I think that's what we named it as new pass um, we just have a quick check new pass one um, where is it enter new password new pass new pass one okay um, so and we also need to get the um, the username from that hidden field remember so user name there we go and the code from um, the get I think yes from the get I forgot to on here on the farm we need the code is equal to the code there so I forgot to do that so if upload that and back to this page dollar underscore get code okay so now we've got the variables if this is create this is now our validation or um, security if you like new pass so if new pass is equal to new pass one so if they are the same else we are going to say um, we are going to echo out here um, just something like pass words must match um, click here to go back this is why we needed the code being passed along so um, forgot underscore pass.php um, code is equal to the code and username is equal to post underscore username okay so that's um, should be working fine now in this we need to encrypt the password so enc underscore pass is equal to md5 um, new pass doesn't matter which one you can use new pass one if you like they're both the same at this point um, now we need to update some of the fields in the database so mysql underscore query is equal to update main site underscore users set um, password to um, new pass where username is equal to post underscore username okay so now we need to create one more query so if we just copy this down here uh, we want to set instead of password we're going to set the pass reset to zero to let them know the database now that the password has been reset where username um, equals post underscore username okay and now we can just echo down here um, your password has been updated um, put a paragraph on that um, and then we can just do something like click here to log in and forward slash a ref um, and you would put uh, you might put login.php or wherever your login form is located I'm just going to put the uh, main website here project um, dash ok 
Okay, so if I now upload that, um, everything should be working and good. So let's start again for example, so if I come off that, um, delete this email um, and go to here, I've got past the PHP, okay, I want to reset my password, check your email, I go to my emails, there we go, click the link below, okay, we get a new password, just going to enter a password in here, update password, your password being updated, click here to log in, and one second, the code has not been passed on there, so let me just have a quick check of that, it's a good job I noticed that, um, so it would be in this one, won't it? Um, Ah, it's because it is get underscore code. Okay, so um, one more try uh, before I finish up. So forgot password. Refresh. Check your email. Um, that one can go. Let's leave it there for now then. Um, okay, click on the link. Okay. Enter for new password. Update. There we go, password been update. And we see that the code has come through now. Click here to log in. You go to the main website and you can then log in with the um, new password that you've just Oops, incorrect password. Right, okay. Um, just browse the database. Okay, it hasn't actually um, encrypted my password. Let me just see. Hang on. Ah, new pass. We need to use ink underscore pass there we go just a few simple um, mistakes there wrong one uploaded okay so one more try um, I can just refresh the page resend and there we go click on the link Enter new password. Click here to log in. Let's try once again. There we go, and we're logged in successfully. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.